Hey, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another delicious video. Today, we're gonna be reviewing Bevy and we're gonna be checking out what Bevy is. And uh, I have a few questions to be honest. So, uh, let's dive in and let's see what Bevy is all about. Yeah, so let's go Bevy Engine. All right, let's see. Bevy Engine, ah, birds, <laughs> of course. Nice. It looks like birds. It's a bird. It's a game engine about birds. <laughs> Who should have known? Huh, even my English just disappeared there for a minute. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Oh, Inbox Studios. I'm not sure. No, okay, I see. I see. I see. There's a whole lot of companies behind this. Uh, so it's got to be a juicy, juicy, juicy little engine, right? Now let's see some examples and see what, what Bevy really has, right? So Bevy is a 2D engine. Oh, it's always oh, got 3D. Okay, okay. And it's got some UI. I mean, should there be pictures on these? Stop it. Or should we just click on something? Hmm. Is my internet tweaking? Stop it. Hold on. Let me just click something. Huh. Well, that's weird. Awkward. Get some help. Oh, it's a button. <laughs> oh, so we just have a, like a random button. Wait, is this a game? Hold on, is this the engine? Oh, we got some code down here. Um, hmm. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, this is Rust. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was like, wait a minute, is this JavaScript? I was like, no, 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 this can't be. FN? Man, this is Rust. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, so Bevy is a Rust game engine. Um, apparently, wait a minute, hold on, is it open source? Oh, sick, yeah, I think it's open source, hold on. Yeah, 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 it is open source. Let's check out the, the, the source code, yeah? Let's see what's going on here. Let's see the documentation. I really like looking at the GitHubs of open source projects to see what's really happening and what they're really about. So, Bevy is a refreshing, simple, data-driven game engine built in rust it is free and open source forever man oh wow i mean there's so many people building game engines out there and then you have bevy the new kid around the block that is like the new guy using a new language called rust and he's gonna be killing it man it's run by birds look at this my goodness you know, birds actually rule the world. I mean, like, they're the most untouchable thing on the earth. Like, just try walking up to a bird and it flies away. <laughs> and now think about everybody's game engine trying to catch up with Bevy. Hmm, Bevy, Bevy's on a whole nother level. It's gonna be flying, man. So the engine is essentially capable of drawing 2D and 3D. And it's also basically easy for newbies and I'm a newbie I'm a noob man like I haven't really touched this engine and the one thing I do know is that it Bevy doesn't really have a UI it's sort of like driven by code and everything it's data driven so yeah it's kind of raises a, a little bit of an eyebrow as to like are they really gonna build a UI you know like a GUI graphical user interface to actually interface with the engine itself or you're gonna be required to actually be like coding the entire time you know every time you want to have a change happen you have to code it in you know um, I wonder if they will have a UI for it but then I don't know maybe it does have it I don't know I really don't know it's been forked like how many times 2,000 times we got 2k on that and then it has about like 20k stars man this is this is very very active 20 wow 20 hours ago man this is the most active engine I've ever seen hold on let me compare this with good dot like go dot go dot go dot go dot go dot go dot is also open source right the last time I checked hold on Let's, let's really let's check up what's really going on here and then let's go down to the contribution side of things I believe that's where we'll find the github page ah there we go oh wait hold on yeah let's just do this Gudo. let's see the last time Gudo got updated yeah so let's see let's see Godot's actually coded in C++ I really realized that um, but then Godot's last update was like in September compared to the bevy engine now, i don't really know the history of bevy but it is recent this is really recent and i love this meaning that 
development on this thing is highly highly active seven hours ago beautiful let's take a look at this one two minutes ago all right cool cool it's also being actively developed on all right all right but then i don't know guys i don't know should you use bevy or should you use godot i really don't know i don't know anything about rust rust is a new language i've never really tried it and i'm still skeptical about trying it but if you are a rust person uh, then i guess you can give bevy a try it's nice it's sweet it's run by birds as y'all can see and uh, i believe it's a it's a very sweet 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 engine i don't really have anything bad to say about this so i'm gonna end the video right here and i'll see you guys on the next